And we're back on the air. How are you doing, everybody? Welcome. It's, uh, it's your buddy, Uncle Bruce here. Uh, Stock Markets with Bruce, 3 o'clock uh, Eastern Time now. We're back on the air. How are you doing, everybody? Oh, Let me mute uh, that little thing over there. It is, uh, it is Thursday, August the 5th. Welcome one, welcome all to the last hour of trading today to see how this market is going to close out the day. The Dow is having a wonderful time, holding a 186-point gain after losing 325 yesterday. So we're still 140 points away from the starting point of yesterday. However, it is a lot better looking. Uh, S&P is up 16 and NASDAQ up 96 points. So we've got the markets definitely going in the right direction today. Um, oil up 89, 89 cents, by the way, at... Um, 69.04. All right. That's where we're at. Stocks that we're following. Uh, Robinhood is having a give back day. Um, at 56.60 is, is the price of the stock, down $13.79. SoFi uh, is off 38 cents to 16.01. Uh, the, the stock has been as low as 15.88 and uh, just had a little rally a few minutes ago to that 10, 16, 10, 12, 15 range. But right now we're around 16 bucks, down 38 cents. GameStop uh, having a good day. Uh, 155.53 right now, up 873. High today, 157.60. So we were up 10 bucks a share about 15, 20 minutes ago. <clears throat> no complaints today on SoFi, uh, on GameStop. Remember though, GameStop at 159 or 155 right now is still six bucks behind where it closed on Friday night. So on the week, uh, GameStop is actually down six dollars on the week. So you option writers out there. Um, you know, you might want to take a look here at uh, maybe writing 165s, 170s for tomorrow, <laughs> to die tomorrow. Um, maybe 160, yeah, 65s or something. We'll see, you have to look that up, see if it's worth your while. Maybe write next week contracts uh, for maybe 180s, uh, 185s. You, you have to choose what, what contract you want to write and how much premium you want to bring in, how much risk you want to grab on uh, GameStop. I'm showing GameStop right now with contracts expiring uh, tomorrow. If you write a, uh, a 160 contract right now, you're looking at bringing in about $2.38. If you write a 157.50, you'll bring in $3.10. You want to write a 155, which is where we are right now. That is a good, it'll bring you 430 to 440 a share. Uh, 170 will only bring you 77 cents. If you write a contract for next week, so a contract expiring at 160 next Friday, that's eight days from now, 785, 760 a share. 165s are bringing you about six bucks. 170s will bring you about uh, five dollars. 175s will bring you about 375. So uh, you can bring in some money if you pull out the premium a little bit for next week, Friday, eight days from today. Uh, you can enjoy the uh, depreciation. If, on the other hand, you are a bull and you believe that uh, GameStop can go higher between now and next week, Friday. You might want to think about uh, writing some put contracts. You might want to write a GameStop 150 put uh, that expires next week, Friday. You will be paid uh, $6 and about 35 cents a share uh, to, to, to commit to buying stock at $150 a share until next Friday. In effect, you're paying $144 or so for the stock. If you, buy, if you write a 145 contract for next Friday, you'll be paid about $450. So you're going to pay $41.50 a share. Or forty fifty a share, one forty fifty. If you uh, <clears throat> if you're gonna write something at one thirty, you only get about a dollar fifty. Um, I don't see any one forties or one thirty fives puts available to be transacted at this point in time. Uh, if you want to go one week further out, August the twentieth, <clears throat> you want to commit to buying GameStop at one hundred forty dollars a share. You'll get paid five seventy five a share, so you're on the hook for uh, one thirty four something. Uh, if you pick off, if you write a 135 contract, put contract, um, expiring on August the 20th, uh, 135 put contract, we will be paid 425 or so a share, and you're on the hook to buy that stock at about $130.75. So if you're comfortable paying $130, $131 for GameStop, you can write a contract that expires in a couple of weeks and be paid up front $4.25 right now, $425 for each one you commit to buy, each 100 shares. Up to you. Uh, if you're going to write a call that expires in a couple of weeks, two weeks plus a day, you can write $170 calls and receive about $775, $770. You can write $175s and bring in $650. You can write $180s and bring in about $575. Um, 
per 100 shares that you have, just so you know. And of course, you can always do the old, let's buy an in the money contract and then write a put against it. So that's a poor man's put. So if you pick off maybe, uh, let's see, the stock's 155 right now. You pick off a, uh, uh, let's say, a $110 call contract, you're going to pay about $47 a share maybe, just around that neighborhood. So you're paying 157 for the stock technically, $4,700 for 100 shares. And then you can write call options against it. Uh, if you so choose to do so, uh, either this Friday, next Friday, that type of thing. Those are all kinds of strategies <clears throat> at your disposal if you're so inclined to do so. Anyway, 155.33 on GameStop, up 852 today. Thank you very much. Uh, we love the gain. Let's get some more. See how it all works out. Um, SoFi right now, $16, down 39 cents. Robinhood, <clears throat> 55.70, <70, clears throat> down. $14.69. That's kind of the low of the day on Robinhood. Volume on Robinhood, just out of curiosity, where are we at now? Uh, 59 million shares, way off from yesterday. SoFi volume today, roughly at 16 bucks a share, 12.2 million shares. Still a good day. GameStop. <coughs> GameStop volume going up 8 bucks a share, 2 million shares. That's it for GameStop, just 2 million. ATIP, 421 down 24 cents. AMC at 3328 up 344. Having a good day today. Matterport, 1552 up $1.12. Matterport volume is around 1 million, just about a million shares. Uh, 23 and me is 881 up 16 cents today. Volume on 799,000. Uh, fifth wall acquisition is up 13 cents to 1220 on a volume of 321,000. Uh, VACQ. Hey, Dave McPeters. Thank you, David. Thank you, David McPeters, for the donation on PayPal. Uh, Vector up 17 cents to 1028 on 532,000. That's just getting better here as these uh, as we're getting closer and closer to the uh, takeover. Vector will be becoming Rocket Lab on August the 20th. So that is coming up, and the stock is inching higher every little bit. Uh, nav site up two cents to 9.98. Uh, Sextera is at 8.70, up a nickel. I read something on Sextera uh, that I wanted to let you in on. I just saw a uh, an announcement that was made here, and uh, let me see if I can get this to work properly. My photos, yeah, here we go. I think I got it. Okay, I took a photo of this. So let me just read this. But Sextera is going to participate in a couple of upcoming investor conferences. This is a good sign. This is what I want to see. I want all new listed companies doing exactly this. Matterport is already involved in a, an investor conference coming up right after their uh, earnings release. Uh, they're doing an investor conference the next day. That's it's next in the next uh, week or so for uh, Matterport. But Sextera, uh, they're announcing that uh, they're going to be involved in the Cohen and Company's seventh annual communications infrastructure summit. Um, and uh, the Nelson uh, uh, Fonseca, the president and chief executive officer, will participate in a fireside chat on Tuesday, August the 10th. They'll be at that conference. And then on the Thursday, on the 12th of August, two days later, Raymond James uh, Park City Summit, uh, Fonesca and Carlos uh, Segasta, Sixteros chief financial officer, will participate in panel discussions on Wednesday, August 11th, and Thursday, August 12th. So for three days in a row, the the the, uh, the top management of Sextera will be in front of investors, will be promoting their stock, their company, their vision, their game plan. So this is fine, fine, fine. I'm quite happy to see this. Um, it's exactly what we're looking for. In in this press release, they talk about, uh, the, the, the uh, they say about Sextera, they say the company is a global leader in data center, al al coal, coal, Colocu co <laughs> um, let's just say they're a, a leader in, in uh, data center coalition and interconnection uh, services. The company operates a footprint of more than 60 data centers around the world, providing services to more than 2,300 leading enterprises and U.S. federal government agencies. Good money in them there, Hills. Sixstrap brings proven operational excellence, global scale, flexibility, and customer-focused innovation together to provide a comprehensive portfolio of data center and interconnection services. So there you go. They're data, data farms, uh, server farms. So there you go. 
a, a very good cash business. The stock is up a nickel today to 870. There's these conferences being held next week. Uh, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, Sykestart will be busy promoting themselves to, at investor conferences. This is what you want to hear <clears throat> if you're an investor in a company that's brand new like these former SPACs, Sykstra and all the others. And this is what I want to hear from SoFi. I want to hear this from ATIP. I want to hear this from Matterport, from 23andMe, Fifth Wall, Vector, NAFSA. I want all these guys to do exactly this. And uh, do not be surprised that this is exactly what these new companies will do. As soon as they take over their SPACs, they will begin to, uh, uh, you know, let the world know who they are and what it is they're doing. This is what we want to hear. Um, good stuff, guys. Uh, the Dow up 207, holding around the high of the day, uh, still 120 or so points away from yesterday's high, uh, but nonetheless, uh, a, a good gain today for the Dow. It's up 0.6 of a point. S&P is up 18 points, 0.4 of a point. NASDAQ is up 94 points, 0.6 of a point. We're looking good on the on the big markets um, today all right um very good stuff i like it i like it uh just noticing a headline here on barons there's an article on barons that says um, more e-commerce means more warehouses and that's a reason to to buy stock in reits uh real estate reits of course it reminds me of gamestop our our favorite uh gamestop which is now up 750 a share uh, of course, they've got two brand new warehouses they're building out right now. They've, uh, they've, they've probably leased them. They're now building them out with the equipment they need to e-commerce their company. They're, they're, they're growing that e-commerce division now to have, looks like they'll have four North American locations for warehouses. Mississauga, Ontario, which they've had for years for Canada. Then uh, York, Pennsylvania, Reno, Nevada, and of course, Grapevine, Texas, just outside of Dallas for the U.S. market. Uh, I, I am under the impression that they have one as well in Australia and <clears throat> maybe another warehouse <clears throat> in the UK, but I do not know if those are being if those are being maintained, will be kept. I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure of all of that. I do know that the Mississauga location, I know that the Grapevine, Texas location, along with the Grapevine, Texas head office location, all those were sold. I think Australia was sold too. They sold it and then leased them back for five or 10 years uh, as tenants. Um, and that freed up 40 million in cash uh, about a year and a half ago when the company was going through the beginning of COVID and reorganizing themselves. This is before Ryan Cohen's time, uh, but this is a good move. You you don't, don't hold assets like real estate, just rent them as you need them. And then that way you have a limited time frame that you're committed to them for, and you can then keep your eyes open for the next move you're gonna make if you're gonna make a next move. Very good. All right, GameStop 154 up 720. Um, Dow up 205. We've got ATIP uh, holding 419 and a half right now, down 25 cents at this moment. Uh, thank you all for for popping in. Uh, the chat's wide open at the moment. Uh, thank you. Uh, much respect, Bruce says DraftKings. Thanks, buddy. Uh, appreciate that. Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, I'm waiting on MT uh, Matterport. It is the company I like the most. Um, and, uh, let's see, do you think it's going to a thousand Bruce GameStop? I, I, well, I, I think it's going to go a lot higher and I sure like the, uh, I sure like the strength of the company. I, I was just playing games this morning, uh, comparing GameStop to, uh, Robinhood just out of, uh, out of spite in, in, in reality. Uh, you know, Robinhood just raised a little over $2 billion to go public. They have 710 million shares in existence. GameStop has 70 odd million shares in existence. One tenth the number of shares. Uh, Robinhood this morning was 60 bucks a share, so that's equivalent to 600 a share for GameStop. That that's the equivalent. Um, GameStop's trading at one was trading at 145. That at that time it's now 154. So, yeah, GameStop is trading at one quarter of the price that Robinhood is trading at, and Robinhood is guaranteed not to make any money this year. Uh, they are bleeding a lot more money than they're bringing in, and and GameStop. Uh, they last report they lost 100 million what, last year during the COVID. I think this year they might even break even or make money uh, because they're converting out into obviously e-commerce, reducing their expenses dramatically all over the place. Anyway, I thought that was interesting that GameStop has no debt, 1.9 billion cash or 2 billion in cash, and the stock is trading at a quarter of the value of, of Robinhood. Robinhood is, is so overpriced, but you know, 
it's just the markets. Uh, nothing personal. Uh, Robinhood at 55.37 now. Uh, this is around the low of the day, 55.01 on 61 million shares. So it, it's having a lousy day today. But you know what? Uh, it doesn't belong here. Uh, Robinhood doesn't belong at $55 a share. It doesn't belong at 60 or 65 or 70 or all the way up to 85. It doesn't belong here. This stock is a $20, $25 company. It, it shouldn't be here. Uh, so another stock that shouldn't be here is uh, Royal Caribbean. It's at $77.91. It's up $5.26 today. $5.26. It doesn't belong here. This stock is a $40 stock and it is way up today. Uh, I don't know what would make people want to buy it and buy it up, but some are. It doesn't belong here. It is a perfect candidate for a put contract. But what can I say? Uh, there are those endless optimists out there that think that everything's going to be fine and everything's going to be great, and uh, we got to go cruising again. And I, I tell you, Robin, uh, Royal Caribbean is going to lose billions more dollars in the next year and a half before they turn this thing around and the stock is just not reflecting reality. Um, I will say too that this morning I was pretty heated when I noticed our friends over at um, JP Morgan, the analysts over there, they say they downgraded Royal Caribbean from 123 a share to 111 a share. <laughs> that is laughable. That is absolutely, completely a joke to think that RCL should be trading anywhere near uh, 110 bucks a share. There are outstanding uh, 254 million shares of uh, Royal uh, Caribbean stock now. And so if you're going to put a, uh, a $111 price target on the stock, you are saying to the market that the cap value of, of uh, Royal Caribbean should be uh, $27.5 billion market cap. And I, I can tell you that is, that is not reality in any way, shape, or form. There is just no way that that is a... Uh, that is an accurate number. The loss per share right now is $22 a share. That's what they're losing per share. They're going to keep that main, they're going to maintain that loss. 20 to $22 a share loss for the next year uh, per share. There's no way this thing's 111 bucks. There's just, just no, no way. The last 52 weeks, the high was 99.24 as it was falling like a knife down to, uh, down to this low level. Uh, 48 was a low, and that's where it's going, and that's what it's worth. Uh, and that's being generous. I'm being generous at 40, 45 a share. I'm being a nice guy. Uh, this outfit is uh, in, in economic uh, uh, wasteland right now. But I, I got to tell you, I, I have to believe the reason that the stock is being called a $111 stock at JP Morgan probably is JP Morgan is one of the lead bankers. For these guys, and that they have helped raise these guys billions of dollars to keep them afloat through the entire COVID thing. Uh, Royal Caribbean already blew off their Azamara line. They sold that off for next to nothing to get rid of it. Uh, they've unloaded their interest in Palmatier or a, a Pullman, Pullman Tour cruise line. That cruise line died within 60 days of the virus shutting everything down. They got rid of those ships. They've been offloading their older ships. They have more to offload. Um, and uh, they're not going to be anywhere near what they used to be even two years ago. There is no way, even at full capacity right now, with all ships booked, they won't make the kind of money they used to make because their interest costs are so much higher now, so much debt that they've borrowed. Uh, and the dilution factor on the stock is the other killer here. That's the silent killer that no one wants to talk about, that that even if they make as much money as they used to make in actual dollars, you know, as, as much profit as they once made, they have to divide that profit into way more shares that are outstanding now, at least 50% more stock. There is no way the stock will ever reach 134 or whatever it was two years ago, uh, even at full capacity. It, it'll be lucky to hit 80 bucks a share. Lucky. Uh, 111 call, it is a pure fantasy land, pure fantasy land. Uh, hasn't got a chance. Anyway, the stock's 77.94, 78 bucks. Uh, yeah, you can look at buying put contracts on uh, on Royal Caribbean. Um, I think there's easy money to be made on Royal Caribbean puts. The question is, can you get a put at a decent price? That is the that is the catch. Uh, that is always the catch. Um, they are trading at some reason at some kind of uh, prices. And mind you, I got to tell you, you can buy a seventy dollar put contract on Royal Caribbean. Uh, for January, 
and uh, it's like seven bucks. The stock is uh, seventy seven ninety three. So, you know, it's out of the money a little bit, but still, um, uh, seven dollars not that outrageous. Sixty fives are five twenty. The stock's going to forty five fifty. So, these will be in the money. But uh, if you did buy an eighty right now, which is uh, you know, three two dollars in the money, let's say, it'll run you nine. It'll run you eleven fifty five. Uh, so you're talking nine fifty out of the money right now. That's expensive. Seventy fives are nine to nine twenty, but you have until January to reap the rewards. If the shares go to say sixty dollars in the next month and a half, uh, an eighty, which runs you eleven bucks, eleven fifty, an eighty will be worth the twenty book value plus premium. Probably you're trading about twenty eight bucks, so you'll you'll more than you know you almost double your money, but or more than double your money. Excuse me. Uh, if you get a seventy five, it'll be worth about twenty dollars. You'll definitely double your money. But oh man, uh, this this uh, this company is uh, this company is uh, in trouble. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind. If you can buy an, an, a, a way in the money put, you'll get a much better deal. <laughs> For example, you buy a one hundred dollar put, <clears throat> which is uh, twenty two dollars in the money. You will pay twenty six dollars for it. So you're only paying a four dollar premium. And what that means, of course, what it really means is if the shares go down ten bucks a share to 68 the contract will be worth instead of 22 it'll be worth 32 in book value and uh, it will trade at uh, at 33 34 dollars you will generate a nice return on your uh, on your investment uh, you'll get almost all 30 dollars in other words if you'll almost get a dollar for dollar move on the uh, on the uh, contract but um, it is an, it's an investment you have to make. It's a bit of money, but still, uh, money can be had here on these Royal Caribbean shares. Uh, Norwegian's up a buck fifty-five. Carnival up a buck fifty. They're too high as well. But but Royal Caribbean, I think, is grossly overvalued, and there's volatility there. There's more volatility to uh, ensure that you can make a nice dollar on it. That's my take on uh, Royal Caribbean. One hundred eleven dollar target price. You got to be out of your mind. Uh, that's insanity. All right. Uh, thank you all for uh, for catching up with me this morning, this afternoon, I should say. It's nice to have you here. Clay, thank you for this donation. Um, uh, you, Uncle Bruce, I bought an eight, uh, an October, uh, an August 20th, $50 put on uh, on uh, Robinhood yesterday. And with the volatility, it became profitable, but I believe the stock will go below 50. Is it better to play options with volatility or being in the money? Well, uh, that's the thing, my friend. Uh, you know, your stock's down 15, 16 bucks now. It's down to 54. Um, you want to hang on to this now because it's it's just going to keep going down, I, I feel. Um, <clears throat> but um, uh, this these contracts will slowly come back into a little more reasonable value as the stock settles down a little bit because we had the stupid day two days ago, a stupid day yesterday. We're having another silly day today, but the right direction anyway. Uh, you have to uh, you have to allow uh, you know for this to settle down, but um, it'll go below fifty. Is it better to play options with volatility? <clears throat> well, it depends. Like in the case of Robinhood, you had no choice. If you wanted to buy a put, you bought this put yesterday and you paid the price. Hopefully, you are reaping a lovely reward right now on this trade. I hope you are. You deserve it because you took a you took a you know you took a shot on this thing, right? Um, <clears throat> but normally speaking, like I was just talking about with, uh, with Royal Caribbean, you, you can buy an at the money put an out of the money put or a well into the money put. There's three ways to play these, uh, along with time, but an in the money put is the smartest way to go on a stock like a Royal Caribbean on Robin Hood. Um, you know, you can afford to have, you could have afforded to be out of the money like you did yesterday when the stock was much higher than where it is now. And you're probably now reaping a gain as it is. But is the, if the stock continues to drop into the, say, 40 range in the next week, if that happens, another $14 drop, you have a $10 book value contract plus time. Time to uh, next week, so not a lot of time. I guess I forgot to mention it. I thought you were looking at, I thought you were looking at October. You're, you're August, so you're not going to have much time. It's going to be book value only. So you're going to have to pull the pin on this soon. <clears throat> you don't have a long time to think about this move. Um, you might you might be selling this either today or tomorrow. Uh, if the stock gives you another five six bucks tomorrow, you might want to pull the pin on this trade, and at the very least do a rollover. But on the other hand, you might just take an exit and wait a while, see if there's a false dead cat bounce back to the 60s. Write enough buy another put and then write it down again. <clears throat> Thank you for that donation, by the way. A good trade. That's a good trade. Um, so so fine. It's just not moving. Uh, it's at 16 bucks. That's what it's doing right now. Wake up is what we say. Um, <clears throat> how do you calculate book value versus time premium? Uh, Andrew, the way I do it is 
if if this uh, if you owned a uh, a put contract on on Robinhood uh, and it had a it was a sixty dollar price, someone could sell you stock at sixty dollars a share, or or you have the right to sell at sixty dollars a share, but the stock's at fifty four, you're in the money five dollars fifty cents because right now the stock's fifty four fifty. If you own a fifty dollar put like uh, Clay has, you're still out of the money four fifty. But he was way out of the money yesterday when it was seventy dollars a share. Uh, so at seventy dollars a share was twenty dollars of the money. Now he's only four fifty out of the money. This contract, uh, the stock is coming down to his contract very quickly, and it might just pass it and go below fifty. And every penny it goes below fifty, it's in the money now. So if it goes, the stock goes to forty eight, his contract, his fifty dollar contract is two in the money. It goes to fifty six, it's four in the money. It goes to fifty four, he's six dollars in the money, and uh, he has true value rather than time value. Time value is, the premium is the time value over and above book value. So there are times where, like for instance, this Robinhood contract that's a $50 put, if the stock goes to 48, the put won't trade at $2 just because it's worth $2 book value. It'll likely trade at six or $8. It'll have time value still on it because it's good for another week and this stock can go $20 a day in either direction right now. It looks kind of wacky. Um, but as each day goes by, the time value will shrink and shrink and shrink because there's less time for the stock to deliver a move because your contract has a finite lifespan. And in this case, it is the 20th of, of August. It is next week, um, um, a week and a half Friday, a couple of Fridays away, and it's all over. So this one will quickly shrink in value. And so he has a few more days. Clay has a couple more days to make a move, but he might want to make his move by tomorrow. All right. Welcome all to the show. Uh, it's nice to have you here. Uh, thank you all of you who are uh, uh, members for being here. Thank you all of you who are uh, subscribers uh, for being here. Thank you all who are uh, visiting me today um, as as non-members. Uh, we appreciate that you're here. I'm going to shift the account now, the, uh, the, the, uh, the chat to uh, members only as uh, those folks are paying 25 cents a show to be members. And I welcome all of you to join the club. Please consider becoming a member of this channel for 25 cents a show, two shows a day, um, uh, every day. Uh, Scott Coleman, thank you so much, Scott, for your donation on PayPal. That is really appreciated as always, sir. Thank you very much. And again, thank you all of you who are joining me this morning, yes, this morning and now this afternoon. Um, even if you're not members, I love having you here. Appreciate it. And welcome one to the uh, to, welcome one welcome all to the channel. Uh, we've had 173 thumbs ups. Thank you for those. Keep those coming in if you don't mind. Thank you very much uh, for these thumbs ups. Hopefully we can get 500 for this show today. Um, and uh, let's continue on here uh, with these markets. Uh, what have we got going here? Um, SoFi sitting at sixteen dollars. Robinhood fifty four fifty two. GameStop one fifty three forty up six sixty. Giving up a little bit of ground but holding a gain. ATIP at 428, bouncing up a little bit, still down 17 cents, but it has bounced up from the low of 415, 11 cent bounce at this point. Thank you. Uh, keep coming, ATIP. 372 gain on AMC today to 3356 on 102 million. The, the, the army is stepping in a bit. The AMC followers are stepping in. They're sensing a bargain this morning, and they started jumping into the stock. And they're being rewarded with a 371 gain now. Matterport 1534. We're up 94 cents on the Matterport. Uh, the range today 1453. That was the opening. Uh, 1573 at about noon, and right now 1534. One million shares traded on Matterport. Thank you, Matterport. Give me a give me 94 cents a day for 10 days in a row, and I'll be a happy, <laughs> happy guy along with my viewers. 23 and me, 886 on the day right now, up 21 cents. Looking all right. Uh, fifth wall up 14 cents to 12.20. Vector is up 12 cents to 10.22. Navstar or Navsite up 3 cents to 9.99. Uh, Sexterra now up 2 cents to 8.67 a share. IBM down 11 cents, breaking everyone's heart. Uh, just not going up with the market today. The Dow up 196 here, holding a nice gain. We have 30 minutes left in the day. And IBM is not participating in this rally today at all. S&P up 17, NASDAQ up 90, oil up $87, uh, uh, 87 cents a barrel. 87 cents a barrel increase in the price of oil today. All right, guys. Um, I bought the hood calls. I bought hood calls for um, 
uh, what do we got here? I got six $62 calls at five sixty-five, or did I buy uh, and two sixty-fives at five oh seven? Both the thirteenth of August. Okay, you got thirteenth of August. Call options, 62s and 65s at 565 and 507. The hood is my first short uh, being uh, <laughs> in my pants all day. Uh, but I made about two grand. Sell now or wait and let the contracts die. I bought the calls. Uh, and so you're, you're long calls and you're, you're losing money quick. Uh, your contracts are dying very quickly here in value. Am I correct in assuming this? You didn't buy puts. You bought calls. I'm assuming, um, you know, we're down $15 a share right now. 54.60, low today, 54.11. If there's a late bounce back today, great, but I, 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 don't, I don't know what to make of this. Considering buying a, 19, a 195 GameStop call expiring in January, what are your thoughts? You want to buy a call option on GameStop. You want to you wanna buy a call option on GameStop. Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, they've been. They have high premiums. So let's take a look at this one. I'm curious. You got my curiosity going on GameStop. We're at 153.37. You're talking about buying a January 195 call. Let's take a look here on January's. Uh, here we go. January uh, 195 calls. 31 bucks a share. Oh gosh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be doing that. I would not be doing that. Uh, no. All right, let's move on. Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Um, Kareem, did you hear about the hedge fund that lost $1.5 billion on bad bonds? I uh, haven't heard that story today. Uh, not surprised to hear it because that happens all the time. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, no, I shorted them. Um, a horse start. Um, let's see. Where are we? Where are we here with this message? Um, used to be a lot easier to be me. It's not that easy anymore. Okay. Uh, so you. Okay, you wrote. You must have sold the calls. You. You. Okay. You didn't buy the calls. You wrote the calls. That that would really help if you. Uh, you know. Give me the right terminology that, you know, it's like the other opposite. Okay, now you're doing great. <laughs> oh, man. It's a lot easier if you help me out here. You really tell me what you did. If you could just tell me what you did, that would really help me understand the situation. You are laughing all the way to the bank, okay? You are a very happy person right now, and I'm really proud of you. Okay, this is good stuff. You're at the low of the day at 15 53.11 or so, uh, down $17 as this stock is careening lower right now on Robinhood. Oh my gosh. So you wrote them. You wrote them. Okay. Um, you're up more than two grand now, I'm sure. So uh, you may want to buy these back uh, fairly shortly uh, to lock in a nice little gain. I would think that if you sold three of each one, if you sold six of each one, uh, you know what, six of one, two of the other, is that right? Uh, I've been pissing my pants all day, but I still made about two grand sell now or what? Okay, you're not selling. If you're closing out the position, you're buying them back. Buy to close is what you're going to do. Uh, 52.72 now on the stock. It's down again. Oh, my gosh. Um, yes, I would, I would really, um, you want to just buy these back soon. Um, yes, this, this stock is going the right direction, but it might bounce 10 bucks the other direction at any time. You want to lock in this gain and say thank you very much. Uh, cash in this little bit of dough, which is kind of nice, and I congratulate you. Uh, I hope you've made a ton of money on this. 62s have got to be in the money now, $9, and the 65s are in the money, almost $12. So I would buy them back immediately, right now, buy to close, get out, flat, cash in, sit tight, Wait till tomorrow for your next move because between now and the close, the too volatile. That's what I would recommend you do. I hope you follow my advice. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, he's got to be. He's got to be up. Uh, yeah. Did you sell the calls? Uh, right, that one ninety five. Uh, that's I sold the calls at that price. I uh, just a brain fart. No kidding. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, buy them back. Get get, get uh, take that off the table. Just cash in right now. Your chips are are to be turned into cash immediately. 
take your profit today michael you're telling him right that's it that you're telling him right okay uh <laughs> Uh, uh, somebody wake up this SoFi turtle, please. Uh, you know, the fact that SoFi is is hanging around at 1603 is pretty good, considering that Robinhood is 5274 down 17 bucks a share. Because there was a lot of people thinking one would mirror the other here. Uh, so SoFi is its own thing. It's down, but nowhere near like uh, like Robinhood is. So all right. Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, Robin is down 25% in value today. Uh, SoFi is down 2%. I can handle that. 16.05 on SoFi. I'm a happy guy. It's doing just fine. Yes, on those on those Robin Hoods, get buy them back and get the hell out of Dodge right now. Run, Forrest, run. That's a great trade. Oh my goodness! Anyone who bought puts on Robin Hood yesterday, this morning, sell them now. Take your profit right now. Get out and stay out for the rest of the day, and let's see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Uh, let's see what's going on. Take the money and run. There it is. There's the advice you're looking for. Guy on a buffalo. There it is. Take the money and run. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Um, unbelievable. Um, oh, wow. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what, uh, what Hood does an hour into money. Then we'll do it again. Exactly. Um Anyway, yeah, it, 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 this is this stock is doing well. It's doing really well. It's doing just fine. Did you ask if Robinhood is one of our stocks? Uh, it's not one of our stocks, but I'm following because I have to follow it. You can't ignore Robinhood. You got to follow it. And uh, if some of you are playing it, uh, I'm, you know, I'm happy to give you my two bits worth of advice. But boy, in my history, my experience says run forest run if you're up on this thing on a on a on a negative trade absolutely all right all right i took my profits two grand right thank you robin hood money from the rich to the poor now you're talking just just just, just now just sit tight breathe in and out and calm down <laughs> you got 24 minutes till the close don't do anything just to keep your money your dry powder you have dry powder now leave it alone until tomorrow we'll see what happens then uh, I didn't expect so much conversation about it. Well, how can how can you not talk about Robin Hood when it dominates everything? Us, Michael is telling you, well done, and so am I. Ashley, good afternoon, peeps. Hello, Ashley. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, <laughs> bar tab goes to Ostergaard. Uh, Gabe stop one fifty three eleven up six thirty one. Uh, so far sixteen oh four down thirty five cents. Uh, ATIP is a pop, and if this uh, trailer is rocking, don't bother knocking. Uh, it's uh, down 21 cents to two to, to 424, so it is moving up just a titch here, uh, but not a lot going on right now. Uh, we're still down 26 cents on ATIP, so uh, let's wait this thing out, see what's going on here. Um, <laughs> I wish I could buy some Robin Hood puts. Um, hi, Ashley from Larry. Uh, yeah, uh, those puts are just ridiculously priced. It's just insanity. Uh, Fifty-one seventy-three now on Robinhood. Uh, uh, all, all all bets are off. I have no idea what the stock's going to do, but it has been crazy. It it could still close at sixty today. I mean, this this stock could still close at sixty bucks a share today. Watch out. Uh, Twelve thirty. We have twenty-two minutes to go in the day. And uh, I, don't, I wouldn't put I wouldn't put anything past Robin Hood's ability to just do a massive turnaround on a snap rally at any time. This is so dangerous here. I'm glad uh, that if any of you taking money off the table, I'm glad you're doing it. Um, let's see. Um, thanks everyone. I've been sweating bullets all day. Phew! Uh, good feeling though that they're in the bank. Yes, sir. The money's where it's supposed to be in your account and no one else's. Right? He made two grand. He made money. Uh, yeah, too rich for my blood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he made money. Oh, unreal, unreal. Uh, these hedgies like playing with to us too much. Very dangerous. Uh, and uh, you know what elements of Robin Hood are making it so volatile? I have to expect quite a. It, it was. It's insanity. It, it's just insanity. There's all kinds of day traders all over the stock. Uh, Julia Hostergaard, do you own Robin Hood or did you sell naked calls? How much money did you pay if you own the shares? Uh, nice to see you this afternoon, says Island Girl to Anti PC. Uh, Anti PC says, "Good job, Ostergaard." Uh, British Shilling, good evening, gang. Good evening. Um, is it a good idea to get more ATIP right now? Yes, always a good idea to buy this stuff. It's cheap, four twenty-five. It is a bargain. Yes, it is. Uh, it is definitely, uh, definitely cheap. Uh, Anti is saying thank you. Uh, One fifty-two eighty-seven on GameStop, up at uh, six oh seven, a slight. Slight little drop at the end here. Uh, we'll see if that stops soon or not. 
Uh, we've got AMC at 3338, up 353 a share. Matterport holding a 95 cent gain to 1536, looking good. 23 and me, 883, up to 18 cents. Fifth wall up 22 to 1229, and Vector up 14 cents to 1025. Rocket Lab, that is having an effect. The effect is beginning to build on this stock, anticipating the ver the, the merger. Uh, we have Navstar uh, merging in eight days, and we have Vector merging in in uh, 15 days. So uh, things are happening there. Time is uh, coming along. Uh, Unreal Dow up 211 points. Um, S&P up 19.92. Nasdaq up 88. So we're, we're looking good. We're only down 110 points from yesterday's 320-point drop. This is – keep that in mind. So this Dow is coming back dramatically from yesterday's drop-off. That stayed down all day long. Anyway, uh, David wants to know, Donnell, so if you buy a put, you're buying the option to sell the given stock at the strike price. That's right. If you own the put, you buy it. You have the right, if you want to, to sell stock to someone at a set price. Uh, or, of course, you have the right uh, to just sell the contract anytime you want for a profit or a loss. And usually what you do is when you buy a put, you're looking for a stock to drop in value. You sell the put at a higher price, lock in a profit. You don't have you have no intention of selling off the stock, but the exercise price determines that deal. Yes, uh, I got thrown out of a place by a bargoon once. Uh, Auntie saying no. Uh, um, uh, alien, I sold my ATIP at four twenty five with a twelve hundred dollar profit, and from my uh, and from my T, I will drop a little bit before it jumps again. Uh, all right. Um, let's see. Uh, uh what else is going on yay i'm green on atip again uh effect i'll tell you the effect <laughs> uh man right damn it now i'm host regarding uh let's see uh host regarding. naked calls i'm original gamestop 246 january idiot who sold robin hood naked as as that it was born i'm not a smart man but i do get lucky sometimes <laughs> <laughs> oh man, unreal! Donnell, thanking everybody for all the help on that uh, question. Uh, right on, <laughs> David. I spent nap time today drawing the bargoon tattoo for my chest. I'm ready to go. Oh man, unbelievable! Fifty-one sixty-four on Robinhood um, now. SoFi at sixteen oh one. GameStop one fifty-two seventy-six, uh, holding a five ninety-six gain. ATIP 421, AMC 3344 up 360. We got 18 minutes to go here. Matterport up 98 cents to 1538. 23 me 883 fifth wall up at 16 cents at the moment. IBM um, breaking everyone's heart, holding a two cent loss on the day. The Dow up now 225. We're down 100 points from yesterday's drop off. That's all. So that's that's how far back the Dow has come. To be within 100 points of that 325 drop from yesterday. Uh, what GameStop options would you consider a good buy? Uh, there are no call options I consider a good buy. Generally speaking, I don't recommend buying call options on GameStop. They have such a premium. They're a fortune. They're an absolute fortune. I recommend writing them. Um, I would recommend, who cares, if you think GameStop's going higher and you bullish, write a put contract. That's what I'd recommend you do. Be a writer of a put contract, go short on a put, open to sell one put contract or two or three, um, and you can go out to a month from now, two months from now, January if you want. Uh, you can buy an out of the money put contract and enjoy the premium, um, and uh, and uh, be uh, you know be on the hook to buy GameStop at a very very low price if necessary. If you're wrong, but if you're right, you enjoy the premium. Uh, it's a question of uh, which one you want to go with and all of that. But I would not be buying uh, $3,000 call contracts on GameStop. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> what, what should I do with my money? Maybe some more options. Uh, you do nothing for the rest of the day. Can you? That's hard to do. It's hard to not do anything when you've just scored. You're dying to trade. Don't trade anything right now. Nothing. Wait till tomorrow. Let's see how the market opens tomorrow because it could go any direction tomorrow. Who knows? Anyone know what level of options you need to have in order to sell uh naked calls is that what you're asking <laughs> it's damn spell check there julia um anyone know the
the levels of options you need. Uh, this I can't answer because I'm not a, an expert on these platforms. AB, people who bought Hood at like 35 and sold it at 70, then bought puts on it. Well, yeah, but not many did that. Julia, depends on the broker. That's true. That boy, Louie, what a good day to trade. Uncle Bruce, uh, you guys really want some Uncle Bruce tattoos. I got you covered. I, But you got to come to California. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Uh, <laughs> SoFi holding 1601, uh, Robinhood at 5179 now. Still just it's just kind of sitting there right moment. Um, uh, GameStop 152.61. We're down to 15 minutes to go. Um, ATIP 426 and a half now, down 18 and a half cents. And we're up 99 cents on Matterport at 1539. Matterport almost a one dollar gain again. Beat calls are for the birds. Uh, SoFi the turtle that will win the race. A laugh out loud. Naked said Julia. Uh, it's level four in fidelity, uh, says DQ. Uh, David, 585 to hold GameStop, 148 puts for a week. Yes, please. 585 to hold GameStop, 188, 48 puts for a week. Yes, please. There you go. There, there you are. There's a, there's a, there's a put. Uh, I agree. Um, you can write put contracts on GameStop uh, for next week. If you want to, if you so dare to, uh, expiring August 13th, uh, for a 145 put contract, you'll get paid about five bucks a, a contract right now um, to obligate yourself to buy 100 shares of GameStop at 145. They'll give you five dollars. In other words, you're ending up paying 140 for the stock. Uh, if the stock does not go down to 145 or below, you don't have to buy anything. You get to keep the 500 dollars for the for the eight days. Not a bad move. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Mike says. Uh, Michael says. Julia, you will definitely need a margin agreement on file. Uh, let's see. Uh, I see. Thanks, she says. I see. Okay. Oh, she knows. Um, and we got Robin Hood 5146 down 1893. Uh, SoFi at $16 on the nose. Uh, we have Matterport up a dollar six. Matterport 1546 up a dollar six. Going higher. Uh, the high of the day 1573, and we're getting closer to that uh, that higher end level. Nice day on Matterport. We're just recovering the loss from yesterday. Uh, it's nice to see it go back here, but uh, I will be happy when I see Matterport at 18 to 20. That's when I will be smiling because Matterport owes us that. Uh, let's see if it can bring in the bacon, baby. Come on up there, and uh, we can buy some nice fresh bagels. Uh, let's see, um, and uh, let's go here. Going Postal says there's one redeeming thing about Robinhood's platform. You can be more creative with options a la carte. Can't do a poor man's on Weeble, for as example, just not available. Interesting. Yeah, some of these some of these uh, transactions are easier done on some platforms versus others. I hear good things on Fidelity. I hear good things about TD Ameritrade. Uh, Schwab, I'm not sure. I, th I thought I heard good people, uh, people telling me good things about it. Donnell, so if I buy a put on a stock I don't have shares of and I want to exercise, I need to buy the shares to cover the contract. If market price is below, strike profit is the difference in market and strike. Yeah, so Donnell, you would buy a put because you believe a stock is going down in price. That's why you would buy a put. You're not going to ever buy the stock. You're never going to own it. Why would you own the stock if it's going to go down in value? You're just playing an option trade because an option trade gives you a 100 share block of stock of leverage with that contract. So if a stock drops five bucks a share and your contract goes up four bucks in value, you've just made a $400 gain on your contract. So if you buy the contract for five and sell it for nine, 500, 900, there's a $400 profit. You just sell the contract back in the options market and forget about it. You're never going to exercise the stock. Ever. But if the stock does not drop, the contract will not go up in value. It might even lose money because if it has a very short lifespan, it's going to expire. At the end of the uh, life of that contract, if it is out of the money, it's worthless. So if you paid $500 for a, call, a put contract that is out of the money uh, and it stays out of the money, you lose all $500. Bucks. You can't lose more, but you'll lose that $500. On the other hand, if you paid five dollars for a put contract and the stock did drop, but it was only a dollar in the money by the time the contract expired, it had a one dollar value. Hundred bucks is all it'll be worth. You'll lose four hundred. If it's at two dollars in the money, you have a two hundred dollar contract. You lose three hundred. I recommend you don't 
play super short contracts uh, at all, if at all possible. You go out several months at a time to give yourself time and try to be close to the money. It all depends on which contract you're talking about here, don't know, which I don't know. Wake me when MTTR gets to 17 and so if I gets to 18. Please, uh, please wake me up for this. I'm ready. I'd be more than happy to be disturbed from my wonderful sleep. Uh, well, you know, have a nice nap there. Uh, I'm with you, Island Girl is saying. Uh, the, that boy, Louis Fidelli, is a, is a goat broker, the greatest of all time. Going postal, seller bullets incoming, duck and cover. Um, sell my house fast in Upper Marble. Uh, Schwab and TD Ameritrade are merging. Schwab and TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim, are merging. Uh, Yippie Kaye, you got to take classes one and two with Uncle Bruce. That's right. You got to go to my website, stockmarcuswithbruce.ca, and watch my my number one lesson and my number two lesson: how to buy and sell put contracts and how to write call and put contracts. You need to learn this stuff. Those are the basics right there. The cheapest uh, price you'll ever pay to learn a lot about what you need to be doing here. Uh, you've got to get some help. Thanks, Bruce. Just asking about puts in general. I'll look at class one and class two. Yippee ki yay Yeah, way to go, man. Um, should I roll my 10 ATIP 1250 11 19 calls into February now? Um, well, uh, you could look at if it's if it's not that expensive. Uh, go ahead, uh, be be my guest. If, if it's if it's relatively cheap, then I'd do it. Yeah, I would. If it's incredibly expensive, no, I wouldn't. Uh, let's move on here. We've got Robinhood sitting at 51.34. It stopped dropping. Uh, we've got uh, SoFi at 16.02. It stopped going up, but it's not dropping either. Um, we've got, uh, we've got, uh, what do we have? GameStop at 152.60, up 580. Uh, we have ATIP at 429, down 16 cents. We're coming up a little bit here. Uh, we still have a good gain on AMC, up 344. Uh, we got Matterport up 99 cents to 15.39. Right on, kids. IBM down a dime. The Dow is up 222, holding the game. We have a 100-point drop between yesterday and today combined on the Dow. All right? All right. <laughs> Going postal. I need to be stranded on an island like Tom Hanks uh, until, like, December. I can't fret over my account if I can't see it every day. He <laughs> likes this. Uh, too expensive, $100 a class. Oh, I'm waiting for a discount code or something. Uh, oh, good luck, Gillian. You just keep waiting. Uh, Fenville, uh, Uncle Bruce, my 10 contracts of Robin Hood, $40 puts, uh, the uh, August 20s I bought yesterday for $1.60 are printing. Uh, should I take a profit, 30% gain, or ride the crash? Uh, I would take the money right now. I would take the money uh, because the uh, the uh, stock has kind of stopped falling here at 51.50. We may have a $5, $10 pop the other direction for several days here. That could eat away some of your premiums. So I would get out now with eight minutes to go, sell them off, cash in. Let's see what happens tomorrow. And you might be looking at if you're making another trade, maybe you know further out. The other thing I'm waiting for now is the uh, uh, shrinkage of these ridiculous premiums. Uh, that that might come back on all these contracts as the days go by now. So you may want to take advantage of this uh, this profit. Take the money. And sit on the sidelines and let's see what happens tomorrow and, and Monday on this thing and go from there. If you're going to do any more trades on this or not. All right. That's my recommendation. I take profits and buy GameStop, says William. Ah, Fanville, GameStop, winners, cash checks. DQ want, waits it out and loses his profits. <laughs> yeah, Fanville, thank you for that donation. And yeah, take your money off the table. Absolutely. Uh, now is the time. Uh, good job. Uh, GameStop going up right now, 153.53. We're up 6.73. Uh, We're coming in the last six minutes of the day. And William is saying to sell a run, 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 a DQ, a Fenville, a, a game, a GameStop winners cash checks. Yeah. Um, uh, Fenville, thanks. I'm long on, on those shares. I've already got GameStop, so no worries. She's long. Uh, damn, uh, Mike, uh, damn you, IBM, you hurt DQ. <laughs> Ah, uh, Robin Hood, 5063. Perfect time to sell these calls right now. Uh, sell these puts, I mean, right now at 5063. This is the time. Uh, SoFi, 1602. Uh, GameStop, 153.44. ATIP, 429. We're coming back to 430 on ATIP. Still down 15 cents on the day, but we're up from 410. So we've improved 20 cents approximately on ATIP from the low of the day. We'll take that improvement for sure. We will. Uh, Matterport still holding a 99 cent gain today. All right. 
Uh, it's 130 a class year Canadian. Uh, no, it's like 5,000 a class year Canadian. Canadian dollars not worth anything. Uh, Carlos, Micron has a dividend gate date October the 10th. Uh, cents, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Micron has a dividend October 10, uh, October 10 cents a share, better than nothing that they were given before. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Robert Benson, I bought classes one and two. I can highly recommend them. Thank you. Kind words, Mark. Uh, what is that old saying? Bulls win, bear win, pigs get slaughtered. That's right. You got profits. Take them now and sit on the sidelines until tomorrow. Let's see what happens then. 1603 now on SoFi, 5094 on Robinhood. It seems to be reluctant. It doesn't really want to drop anymore. Robinhood is kind of bottoming out here for the moment, just ever so slightly. We're up 662 on GameStop, and the Dow is up 234. We're 90 points down between yesterday and today on the Dow now. Very interesting. Chris, um, uh, Uncle Bruce in general, is it always better to lock in smaller gains as opposed to waiting for a bigger profit. If it, like if Matterport hits 17, do I cash out my 15 calls or do I wait for a higher stock price? It depends how long you have on your calls. If you have until January, the stock is moving higher, they're in, in, in the middle of going public with all kinds of announcements and appearances, you want to let it ride. You want to let it ride up, let it ride up because that's what options are for on longer term. Um, these shorter term trades, you, you got to be really careful. You have to be in to get out. Um, a rich, I have two SoFi $15 calls uh, August uh, 6th. Uh, that's tomorrow at 70 cents. Should I keep until tomorrow? Uh, SoFi $15 calls. You're in the money. So uh, there's the uh, there's the uh, gamble. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, <laughs> you might want, might want to sell them here. If you're, I don't know if they're in, in any kind of a profit. I don't know if you're up or down. I don't have any, there's no premium on this. I doubt it. But $15 calls, they expire tomorrow. Um, you might want to just take your money right now and sit on the sidelines and see what happens. I, I mean, what are you waiting for? Uh, you've lost 35 cents today. I don't know. Rich, 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 rich. Holding right to the end like that. Uh, what can I say? Uh, we're at uh, GameStop 152 uh, now, 153.08. We're, we're just hanging around 153 again. Uh, Robinhood popping up a little bit now, 51.23. SoFi 16.06 up a little bit. Um, ATIP 430 now. Um, yeah, I don't know. 242 is the gain on the Dow. The Dow is trying to get back all the loss from yesterday. It's trying to get it back. It's 80 points away with two and a half minutes to go in the day. Uh, from yesterday's complete drop off. That's where we're at right now. Oh boy. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Michael, worth 110 now. Sell him. Um, Robert, but I need to keep my full time job. The tempo. Bruce uh, spews out his videos out. Um, yeah, take the money and buy a class from Bruce. <laughs> So you're saying that I should uh, keep my December 17th and January 21 Matterport calls at 1750. Okay, I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'd be staying. I'd be sticking around on these contracts. Uh, Matterport's up a buck today. Uh, you know, ten days in a row, one dollar a day, twenty-five dollar stock. Are you happy? I'd be happy. Uh, let's go. Give me a nice little game, please. I'd take it. We are coming into the close. A minute and a bit to go. Uh, last couple of minutes. As we're coming into the final stretch on our market today, and we'll see just how things all uh, come out in the end. Uh, another wild and wacky day today. Uh, <laughs> amazing. 153.51 on GameStop, up 644. Kind of holding a bit of a gain here. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Robert, uh, a DQ, Robert, uh, sell some deep in the money calls, use the proceeds to take a class. Um, and um, uh, Auntie, uh, those are called poor man's classes, laugh out loud. I do the same. Everything I know I learned from Bruce and Andrew from In the Money on YouTube. There you go. Um, fantastic. Thank you guys for, for your support. Kind words. Uh, appreciate it. And I'm glad you're enjoying the classes. There are eight now to enjoy. We're getting a little more complex each one that goes by. Uh, but, uh, you know. Uh, it's a good idea for some of you folks definitely to take these classes to check them out uh, once you own once you bought them you own them forever you can watch them again and again and again and uh, just you know refresh yourself um, with what's happening absolutely uh, and uh, let's see here uh, um, 
Uh, DQ, uh, I, I did class one and two live with Bruce and bought classes three and four after that. Well worth the money I spent. And um, let's see. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, Robin, uh, Royal Caribbean, unbelievable. Just unreal. We're coming to the close. We're doing it here. Um, the bell should be ringing in 18 seconds. We're getting ready to hit the day. 5104 on Robinhood. We sort of stopped falling here. Uh, hopefully, all of you have taken your profits on the Robinhood puts if you had any. SoFi 1606, GameStop 153.46, ATIP at 430 now, and uh, Matterport 1538 up 98 cents. We are ringing the bells on the exchanges. We're all done, and uh, we're finished for the day. The Dow gained 260. On the day, came back within 60 points of yesterday's losses. 266, last uptick now. 266-point gain on the Dow, lost 325 yesterday. So all but 60 points have been clawed back by investors. Um, S&P up 26, NASDAQ up 114. A very good close today on the markets. A very powerful, good close. Larry Titus, we're ringing, baby. The ding and ding and is going on. The classes are an investment, I'm sure. I haven't yet because I'm broke. I do like what I've learned from watching this show, says Gary. Guy on a buffalo. Um, let's see. Uh, yay, SoFi closed above 16 at 16.06. Uh, let's see. Uh, NTPC, I don't get it. You learn online or pay for Uncle Bruce classes. Uh, let's see. My name is Jonas. Uh, Uncle Bruce, I sold him for 2.1. Still hate the hood, though. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Uh, nice job uh, cashing in, and that's a good move. Um, just right now, just stay on the sidelines with this because who knows tomorrow morning what could happen. This could be up or down 10 bucks tomorrow. Uh, you don't want to be on the, you don't want this to start at 55 and go to 60 and then sit there and go, oh my God, I'm wiped out of my puts. Just, just sit back because this is so un unpredictable. It is ridiculous. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh, gosh, sixteen oh six on SoFi. Thank you. Uh, uh, 14 million traded. Another good day there. Uh, Robinhood now up 70 cents in the aftermarket, 51.67 right now. GameStop, 153.46, trading at 154 in the aftermarket right at the moment. Uh, we had today 2.38 million shares trade on GameStop today. ATIP closing at 4.30 on 6.2 million shares. Down 15 cents. Not a bad day, really. Um, uh, what do we have? AMC closed out at 33.50, near the uh, just short of the high of the day. It was 34.12 for the high. Volume: 107 million shares on AMC today. So the army showed up there. Matterport: 15.38, up 98 cents. 1.16 million shares uh, on the day today. Very good. At 23 me at 8.82, up 17 cents. A fifth wall acquisition. Uh, petered out at the end, but still had a four cent gain. Vector acquisition up eleven cents to ten twenty two. Nav site up one penny to nine ninety seven. And Sextra unchanged when it was all said and done. Eight sixty five. No change on the day. It was as low as eight forty four this morning. In twenty minutes, we were down there and we just battled our way back. Had a high of eight seventy four, but we closed at eight sixty five. Unchanged on. Six six era. Um, SMH Vanek uh, Vanek Vectors uh, e ETF down thirty cents to two hundred seventy dollars. All those computer chips. Uh, Home Depot up two ninety five. IBM up seven cents. Heartbreaker that it is. Dow climbed two hundred seventy one points. Microsoft up three dollars. Apple up eleven cents. Tesla up three seventy one. Bed Bath and Beyond closing at twenty seven sixty two. Up forty nine cents. BlackBerry up fifty five cents to ten forty two. Royal Caribbean up five forty nine a share to seventy eight fourteen, utterly ridiculous pricing. Uh, this is a stock screaming to have puts purchased on it, uh, or calls written against it, or whatever. Uh, this stock does not belong here. Uh, it is wacky. Anyway, that's the story on Royal Caribbean. Um, Norwegian up one fifty five, ridiculous. Carnival up one forty nine, ridiculous. Uh, Amazon uh, up twenty-one dollars. Facebook up four more dollars to three sixty-two, three sixty-three. Google up eighteen dollars. Target up a buck. J.P. Morgan up a buck eighty. Costco up eight more dollars a share. Walmart up two seventy. Cisco up seven cents to fifty-five seventy-six. Nvidia two oh six up three sixty-three. Uh, Goldman Sachs up six fifty-three. Uh, Disney up four dollars. Um, 
Uh, what else have we got going on here? Uh, American Airlines up a dollar forty-six. Uh, Netflix at five twenty-four, stuck between five hundred and five fifty on the Netflix right now. It's up seven bucks today. DraftKings fifty dollars forty-eight cents. Uh, they're winning the war against the shorters. The stock is winning out. Um, on Micron down forty-seven cents. Intel up thirty-four. And there are those are our quotes uh, on the stocks we follow the most right there. Um, interesting day. For sure, a most interesting day today. GameStop was higher at the beginning of the aftermarket. Now it's down 94 cents, 152.52. That's what we have right there. Uh, you know what? I can't wait for approval from Fidelity to start writing puts, says Nicholas. Um, and Carlos, I enjoy watching your members go through these phases of grief. <laughs> Michael, my, 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 how the table turns. Uh, <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Uh, going postal, postal says sellers win on pushing it down, but buyers win on keeping it above sixteen bucks. We'll call it a draw. Um, and um, uh, Anti says to Ilian, I started learning before Bruce offered the classes. I'm too impatient. I was eager to learn how to make money. I learned online. I learned from Bruce just by watching his shows, and you can learn a lot from just listening. Or not only Bruce, but his comments as well. Uh, um, Bob, uh, woohoo, even uh, green numbers. Uh, I got a gain today in portfolio, 0.81%. So much better than the 10% daily losses over the last several weeks. I'm happy to see that. Uh, and um, uh, let's see, uh, what else is going on here? Uh, um, uh, Robert Benson says, uh, Alien, the class are really informative. I think Bruce is the best of all the YouTubers. I've been checking out, explaining about calls and puts. Uh, thank you guys uh, for, for all of that. Uh, uh, appreciate it. Uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, you know, you got to decide for yourself whether you want to make the investment in my classes or not. Uh, to get your hundred dollars back uh, wouldn't take much. Uh, <laughs> after watching some of these classes, uh, you'll quickly figure out how to how to make your first hundred real fast. I would say so. But uh, you know, you gotta you, you gotta decide whether you want to do it or not. I understand. Some people don't want to do it. It's all right. It's okay. Just you know, it's all right. Uh, cheers all of you from around the world who are watching here today, who have been watching the, uh, my channel for weeks and months. I appreciate all of you out there so much. Uh, we have got 262 thumbs ups going today. If you're able to throw a thumbs up our direction, please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that, baby, and let's make it go higher. Uh, thank you, everybody, for supporting this channel and, and encouraging it. And the kind words, I do appreciate this. Uh, it's nice. Uh, we love it. It's uh, one of the motivations to keep me coming back and keeps me wanting to do it. 266 thumbs ups now. They're coming in. Thank you, everybody. 267. Here's another one. They're coming in. Thank you, thumbs uppers. Appreciate it. 272 now. There's another bunch. Fab you lus. I love it. Uh, Robin Hood, 5142 in the aftermarket. Up. 45 cents. That's what we got right now in the aftermarket uh, for Robin Hood. What a day. Still does deserve, does not deserve to be here. Um, you know, th there's no fundamental value at $51 for this stock. It doesn't belong here, but it is here. And that's what we have to keep an eye on. Four, 285 thumbs ups are coming on. Thank you. Thumbs ups, uh, people. I appreciate this so much. Uh, getting me closer to 300 thumbs ups right now. I appreciate that. All right. Good stuff. Uh, what a day. What a day. What a day. Um, anyway, uh, that was fun today, says Holster Guard. I should sell my stock account cumulative profit loss graph to theme park as it goes up and down every down. <laughs> That's the roller coaster I've ever been on. <laughs> Kev Lane, cheers. Um, get the covered call writing knowledge if you have 100 shares of anything. Uh, cheers, Holster Guard. Um, let's see. Knee, knee, knee. Uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, let's see. Uh, yep, yep, the only thumbs up you can't go wrong. Thank you, everybody, for these neat emojis. Appreciate it. Uh, helping my uh, helping my channel pop up some thumbs ups here. We're now at 295. I'm gonna give you some knees myself. Let's get some neat emojis going. Here we go. There we are. Neat, neat, neat. There we go. Thank you, everybody. We're going for 300 thumbs ups. Here they come. 297 are in the bin right there. Oh, man, the thumbs-ups are coming in. Here are the neat, neat, neat emojis. 299 thumbs-ups. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> five, uh, 303. Yay, 303 thumbs-ups. Beautiful, guys. Thank you. Uh, good job, one and all. I appreciate it. Right on. <laughs> 
All righty, another fun day uh, in the markets. What can I say? Thank you, one and all, for uh, for uh, hanging around and uh, and uh, enjoying enjoying the gang here. Uh, nice day on the Dow after a lousy day yesterday. The other two indices did well too. They uh, they came around. So there you go. Uh, Zynga tops street results estimates as video game publisher keeps M and A momentum going. Okay. Uh, Yelp boasts uh, post best revenue growth in six years as consumers start going out. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, one by one, uh, companies are bringing out their results. Very interesting. Uh, yo, uh, never a dull moment out there. Uh, okay. Uh, that is the that's the dealio. That that is the dealio here. Uh, Scott Cammon, thank you, uh, Scott Cam Scott Cammon, for your donation today. Uh, much much appreciated. Uh, and all of you, uh, those of you who are, are are looking for one of these uh, cell phone amplifiers, uh, we still have some left in the uh, in the uh, Uncle Bruce version here, the bagel version, and the uh, sextant version. Uh, we're happy. Jen and I would be happy to to autograph these for you and uh, fire you one out by uh, airmail. But we're down to about uh, two to three weeks left before we can't sell them anymore because we are going to be uh, whatever's left over is going to go into storage for a while. So we're going to become nomads. Uh, so we won't be able to ship them from the road. So if you want one uh, between uh, now and uh, a couple weeks from now, make your move. Uh, we have a few left, but once they're gone, they're gone, and uh, that'll be it for a while until we're back uh, settled in again. Um, <laughs> Chris, uh, Uncle Bruce, you legend. Thanks for today. I love the cheers and good night. Thank you, uh, DQ. That was easy. Uh, see you, uh, see you, future millionaire. Says Kev. Tomorrow, that means you too, Uncle Bruce. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, it's all good. It's all good, everybody. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Zilla predicts its first two billion dollar quarter and blows away earnings expectations, but the stock sinks. Uh, interesting, um, interesting how Zillow works. Uh, I like Zillow. I love using Zillow uh, just to kind of look around at uh, housing prices in the U.S. and, you know, uh, great for satellite imagery as you zoom in. It's really cool. Really neat stuff. Um, fantastic. Uh, that boy, Louis. Uncle Bruce, my kids and grandkids will know about you 60 years from now when I'm in my mansion. There you go. Um, fabulous. Robert. I could not eat something softly, uh, salty. I could not eat something salty. I'm off to buy a packet of chips. Uh, okay, I could eat something. Okay, you're getting some chips. Good for you. Good, good on you. <laughs> Thanks for the update. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for letting us in on that. Appreciate it. All right. There you go. All right. Well, there it is. That's our day today. I'm going to call this a day today. I'm going to say thank you for being here with me uh, for the uh, for the last hour of the trading day. And uh, please, uh, uh, you know, take care of everything. Uh, have a good night and uh, take care. Uh, Uncle Bruce, you got to get the Iron Maiden song Nomad to blast in the RV when you're on the road. Uh, yeah, what kind of RV should I get? I'm thinking of getting a Super super C, you know, one of those big old honking Super Cs, you know. Thinking of maybe 40 feet long with the big fat slides going out. Uh, what brand do you think I should get? Uh, and, and anybody got one? Uh, anybody want to rent me one real cheap? Uh, Jen and I could be on the road for a while and uh, coming to a town near you. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, the RV lifestyle. Oh, I don't know if we can handle that. Anyway, guys, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow, 8.30 here, first thing in the morning, one hour before the opening. Let's see how the markets do. See if we can make us uh, make some uh, some progress here and make some more money. Let's see what's going on. Uh, get the Numar uh, King Air. 4553. Is that a big class A or is that a is that a class C? I don't know. I have a good Uncle Bruce at all. Um, yeah, you know, you got to get a custom one made like a shape like a Royal Caribbean cruise liner. On the road again, said Justin. <laughs> Michael, they started a million. It might be a bit out of my price range. Uh, thanks, Drew. Uh, peace out, uh, Vargan. Thank you guys. Have a good night. We'll catch you tomorrow at 8 30 in the morning. Let's play some more. Let's have some more fun tomorrow with the markets. Let's see what we can do. In the meantime, you guys take care. We'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. And uh, zzz, easy and thumbs up and neat. Thank you. Bye for now.